Hi everyone, I'm Rich Tola. Welcome to another 5 Minutes of Fat Burning, workout number 68. We're going to work on hip openers today, so let's get started in a low squat. So for a low squat, we're going to go wide today. Typically we talk about knees above the ankles. This time we're going to go wider. Wider. So coming into your squat, you're going to go wide and then you're going to position your hands on your fingertips so that you can press your elbows into the inside of your knees. So you're going to sort of artificially push that open as you take the heart forward. You know, typically in squat we talk about the heart back against the wall. We're going to bring the heart down forward and lean forward. At the same time, press through all four corners of your feet, not your toes, right? Four corners of your feet and now open up the hips. And you can hold right here, taking the heart forward, sending your gaze out a couple, two feet of, in front of your feet. Now, you can just rest right here and sink deeper, sink your butt deeper as you just breathe into that space. Now, remember, with hip openers, you're going to find yourself in an uncomfortable space, right? Feelings. Breathe into that. That's where you want to send the breath. Send the breath to the areas of tightness. Anywhere there's uncomfort, send it there. If there's pain, be careful with pain, right? Pain's not good. Discomfort's good. Good. So, let's take it. Let's hold for a 10 count. Ready? 10, 9, 8. Stay with that meditative breath. 7, 6, 5. Hollow through the core. 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. We're going to slowly come down. So walk your fingertips. Let's go one knee at a time. One knee at a time. Bring your legs together. We're going to come into pigeon pose. You may recall pigeon pose from workout 18. It's Eka Pada Raja Kapotasana. That's the Sanskrit, the yoga term. Um, let's not worry about that, but what we're going to do is we're going to take the right knee forward. So I like to come onto my hands as I bring the right leg forward. Now, you're, if you're able to take this knee so that you have knee issues, if you have knee issues, be careful. But if you're able to take this shin so that it's perpendicular to the torso, otherwise mine's at a 45 degree angle, that's where I can get that to. So just be careful there. And now you want to take the heart forward. So you're extending, so we're getting length through the torso as you fold forward, coming onto your forearms, palms pressing, creating extension. And this back leg, you want to think about rolling it, rolling it in and a straight line behind you. So it's not flying out, and it's not way over to the other side. So it's a straight line of energy. Good, extend. Now this time what we're going to do is we're going to come up onto your toes. We're going to come up onto your toes and push out through that back heel. So we're sort of sinking deeper into our buttocks as we push out through the heel, creating length and then folding. Right, relaxing your shoulders. Good. A good meditative pose as well. Remember, if it's uncomfortable, breathe into that. You should feel that through the right hip. Stay with it. We're just going to hold here for 10, 9, 8. Relax your shoulders. 7, 6. Keep pushing through that back heel. 5, 4, 3, 2, one, good. You're going to slowly come up. Drop the back leg. But as you come up, we're going to add to this pose. We're going to add to this. So you're going to sit up tall here, and we're just going to bend that back leg. We're going to get a thigh stretch. Now, if you're able to, take, the, take your right hand into the middle. So it's in the middle of the torso, reaching back with the left hand here. Now, if you can go for the outside edge or over the top. See, I'm able to go over the top of that foot. So I'm actually stretching through the the ankle area as well as the thigh, and try to relax your shoulder. You're not up high in your shoulder, relaxing and sitting up tall. Good. Right here. Let's hold for a five, four, three, two, one. Always remember to keep your hips square, right? Don't compromise the pose. Good. Let's roll over to the other side. So you're just going to roll over, going to bend the left leg. Nice way to get to the other side. Coming into pigeon again. The positioning of the leg is wherever you're comfortable without, without hurting that knee. You're going to roll this back leg. You want to square the hips perpendicular to the ground here, right? Coming up tall in the pose. Good. Creating length. Right. As we fold forward, we're going to come to our forearms, press our palms together. Now we're going to go with that back foot. See, I'm going to come onto those toes, and you can actually inch back from your toes as you lift up and press through that heel. Creating length, and then folding. Good. And then relaxing into the pose. Relax into it. Let's hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Stay with it. 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. Releasing the leg. 
right? Releasing the foot, coming up onto your fingertips, positioning the left right in the center. Right in the center, gives you a little more balance. Bending the back leg, reaching around, right? We're reaching around. Remember, you have two halves of your body, rarely are they the same. So this side's stickier for me. Good, and going for the foot. Now bringing the heart and the hips so that we're right, keeping the integrity of the pose, squaring forward, and then just kind of pulling into it, not tugging, not jerking. Remember, soft, deliberate movements. Good, let's hold for a five, four, three, two, one, good. And release it down. Let's just come onto our back so we can hug our knees into our chest. Nice. Nice way to finish up with this pose. Good, remember laying back down. If you're laying back down, roll it down one vertebra at a time. Hugging your knees in. Good, and just rocking a little side to side. See how my chest and my, my chin is up off the ground. Now I'm gonna come into what our happy baby pose, which we did in yesterday's workout. Laying back down, trying to get your knees and your thighs to the ground. This is a great pose here. Maybe rocking a little, excellent. Bring our knees together. We are going to rock it up. Let's rock it up. Now we like to bring it back to seat. Excellent. So remember, with pigeon pose, be careful with your knees. Stay with the integrity of the pose. Breathe deeply in that pose and do numerous sets. Enjoy your day. We'll see you next time.